Hello everybody, this is Norm with Two Guys Farming. How you doing? We're back on Fitchtel Map. This is our Farming Simulator 2017 Let's Play series. This is a German-based map in the Fitchtelberg Mountain area. And we've uh, got some work to do. It's late. It's uh, dark as you can see, but this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter uh, episode. We're going to uh, do some grass cutting here, so let's hop in our fence. And first, what we've got to do is fill up the uh, silage additive tank right there. So we'll hop in, and you can see lower right-hand corner, the silage additive fill level will start to go up. So basically, as we uh, collect cut grass with the uh, Mengele, the Garant Mengele forage wagon, the silage additive increases the yield of what we're collecting. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's head on out. Already started to cut some of this field. And actually, while we're at it, let's just pull over to the side here. Make sure we're out of the way of traffic. And we're going to get our Agro Star and Cultivator working on 36. I'm going to use course play for this there we go get him lined up and he's on his way this is the Lemkin cultivator it's four meters wide uh, but what's really cool is you can add another one to it and make it eight meters wide with a kind of an attachment so we'll be doing that in the f near future once we get the attachment and a tractor that will uh, be able to pull them both so we're just going to shoot up here turn off our hazards up for this tree and here we go okay so let's go ahead and get everything set up here So first we'll unfold our front mower, that's our Deutz mower. Lower it and turn it on. And now we're gonna lower our pickup on the forage wagon. Turn that on. Ooh, that's loud. And also with the Z key, we turn on the silage additive and we're off. You can see the chaff, the grass going in the back there. So what I've been doing is once I get to the end, I turn it off to make the turn. And then we go down the other side. We should get um, at least another full load out of what's remaining here. Maybe a, a load and a half. So we'll turn it off. We'll pick up and then we'll come down the other side here. 
like so. So as we collect the grass in the pickup, there are blades in this pickup that chop the grass again. And then the silage tank there adds the uh, additive, which helps promote the breakdown of the grass and um, will help it ferment quicker so that it doesn't take as much time to turn into or ferment into silage. And on this little hill here, it looks like we're all right. we finish cutting this we'll drop this in our silage pit by the dairy cows there's actually two silage areas for the cows one we've already filled that's the, uh, the chaff bunker we've got about 300,000 liters of silage that's already fermented in there And then by the cow pasture, there's another uh, pit where you can drop grass and cover it to make silage. And here we go. So we're 48%. Yeah, so we should get... Um, Maybe one and a half trailer loads of grass here. So after we cut this, we'll drop it. We'll also do a little work. I'll show you guys how I have been um, kind of shaping the chaff pile. So you've got to kind of, it's not a matter of just dumping it in. You've got to kind of shape it so that you can make a, uh, a large pile. So I'll give you a little preview as to how I do that. Not sure it's the best way. i be interested to see how you guys are doing it. But it seems to work okay. So we're at 62%. This tractor is working really nice. This is the uh, the 312. Whoop. <laughs> and this forage wagon is working really, really good. I'm really liking it. And the, the blades need changing. As you can see, we've only used 20% of their life I guess you could call it and we've done a lot of collecting okay so once we get to a hundred percent we'll have to change those blades and of course the silage additive uh, continues to decrease as we add it to our chaff here. So it just adds a couple of extra layers of realism, which is kind of cool. Sorry, I know I'm moving around a lot. here
And then once we finish cutting this field, we will uh, go ahead and fertilize it. The grass fields on this map uh, can be fertilized, so that's good. Okay, so we're full, so we're going to turn around and head to the chaff pit. I'm not going to drive over the uncut grass because we uh, trample it when we do that. So the new DLC is coming out next week. Looking forward to that. Looks like they've got some really neat equipment in there. There's 18 pieces in total. So there's a, a cool looking merger that I'm looking forward to using. And here's field 36, which is being cultivated now. So it looks like he put one headloon in there. It looks like he missed a headland too. That's what happens when you do a headland. You've got to start the course from the start point, and I don't think I did that. So he picked up as the start point the second headland. It looks like. There's field 16, which also needs to be cultivated, fertilized, and seeded. We're working into the night, but hey, there's work to be done, so farmer's job is never done. There are dairy cows. We've got 12 now. So we're making some progress. We're gonna cut over the grass area here. And I'll show you where we've got our chaff bunker. Right here. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop off the mower okay and basically what we want to do here is we're, we're making a ramp essentially so let me show you essentially we're trying to create a ramp right like such and as we do that, then we're going to fill in this area here to create a top part, which we can continue to... So you've got some nice edges here. Right, so now we want to add kind of right in this area and just starting to flatten this peak. We want to kind of continue it out a little bit and then a ramp to that. So... We're going to make some, let's pull up our menu, I think. Yeah, we are 100% compacted, but this does tend to get stuck, so, okay, so that's kind of, <coughs> excuse me. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to flatten this out a little bit. So we're going to keep making... Take a screenshot. So we're going to keep just making little deposits right where that kind of... Right next to that bump is right there. Yep, right there. Okay. Now it's better to do too little than too much. Because if you put too much, one, you can, you can get the, if 
forage wagon stuck. Like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I want to get a little bit more on the end here. Like so. Let's kind of zoom around here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side here. Right where you can see that little depression. Right in here. So we're just trying to build this up a little bit. So that we can begin to create a little platform, a little flat platform. Just like this. And then Okay, so we're empty. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and grab our silage shield. First, we're going to kind of roll it a little bit. We'll put the shield on back. Just more as a weight for right now. Okay. So we're going to raise that all the way up. <coughs> Gonna roll this a little bit here. So we're eighty for seven percent. Just want to create a little flat area. be careful there's no doubt about it all right so now what we want to do is See if we can push a little bit of this over to this side, like that. And get a little of this bump here. That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm just going to try and flatten this edge a little bit here. Bring it over to that side. Okay. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's a good foundation. So I'm just going to drive on this a little bit. So we can flatten it out without getting stuck. 100% compacted. Okay. So let's just go up here. We'll drop off our attachments. Grab our forage wagon and we'll be back at it. So we've got uh, about 147,000 liters in here, and this is looking good. We've got nice edges starting to take shape on the sides and the front. Yep, looks good. We've got a nice little ramp, and then this next load we're just going to put right in this area here, and we're going to begin to flatten it, just like over here. We want to continue this edge here out and then we'll start that ramp and then we're looking pretty cool so we're gonna hop in here out for the cow and there's our silage pit or bunker I should say because it has walls are looking pretty good let's see straw grass silage 99% we've got 12 78 hours until we birth a cow might as well save that so that's good and here's our silage bunker here so we've got um 380,000 liters in here and we only filled this to about right here or so so you can see here this is what we're going for we want a flat top nice edge flat top now this one has sides so we don't have to worry about that um, here but this is basically um, what we're looking for so we're going to continue to use this up and then what we're putting in the pit um, hopefully will be enough to hold us over while we fill this whole thing up. So that's our plan with that. So, um, anyway, thanks for joining me guys. We're going to keep this a uh, little bit on the short side. Uh, always appreciate feedback, what you think, any comments, suggestions, always glad to hear. And thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.